Hi, this is Pastor Gary again, and I got such um, instant and positive feedback from the last one of these videos I did about uh, advice for younger ministers and sermon preparation that I thought I would follow up real quick here. So uh, I know that this will be a little bit different for those of you who are pastors and those of you who are more evangelists or, or some other role in the church, but um, I'm a pastor, so I think in terms of pastoral sermon preparation. And my advice would be um, preach and prepare with a purpose, with an end game in mind. In other words, know your destination, know where you're trying to take everyone in this message, and don't just randomly um, get up with a bunch of ideas and hope that it all comes together. For example, and I'm just using this as an example, this morning we're doing the first of an Advent series, and we're talking about the characters in the Bible story of the birth of Jesus. And we've got three Sundays to do this in, so this first Sunday I'm talking about Joseph, and next week I will talk about Mary, and the third week I'll talk about Jesus, so everything in the service and everything music and and whatever else um the third week there's actually a kids are videoing a, a human drama that'll kind of help tell the story but so my focus is on joseph and i wanted to uh emphasize there's not much in the bible about joseph so i wanted to emphasize the one thing we know about him for sure and that is that he was the adoptive father of jesus okay adoptive father there's the idea there's the key concept so i'm building around that by telling this wonderful story of some friends of mine, um, Bethany and Nathan Gaddis, who are in Uganda right now, adopting a, a sweet little girl named Jaden. And I'm using that as the starting point to tell their story. Uh, and it's a love story of how they, how they felt compelled to adopt and found Jaden and went to great trouble. And then I'm going to tell the story, lead into the passage in Mark that tells about... Um, um, I'm sorry, in Matthew, that tells about um, the the whole story of the preparation for the birth of Jesus in which the, the birth is announced to, um, to Mary, and then she comes and tells Joseph, oh yeah, by the way, I'm pregnant, and I'm going to tell that story and about how despite the fact that he was not the biological father, he became the adoptive father of Jesus and raised him. And Okay, so you get where I'm going with that. The end then, where I'm going eventually is is that God did that and sent his son into that family and allowed him to be an adopted child because God is an adoptive father also and he wants to adopt you, me, us, into his family and love us and make us heirs of his, which will lead to the very end of the message in which I'm going to basically do something I don't always do, which is give an invitation for those who feel drawn to the Lord to give their hearts to him, to allow him to adopt them into his family and make them his own. So you see, I started out with the idea of that, of where did I want to end up with people? I wanted to end up with people thinking about the whole idea of being adopted by God the Father, and the story is the vehicle for me to get there. So when you're preparing a message, bottom line is, uh, what are you preaching for results? You're preaching for them to make some lifestyle changes? Are you preaching for them to uh, become more missional? Are you preaching for them to uh, accept Christ? Are you preaching for them to um, reprioritize their lives? Use that as the starting point and write the story backwards. Start with where you want them to be, know where your destination is, and then plan the trip backwards from where your starting point is. Okay? little advice for you before I head out to church this morning to preach that message. God bless you. Aloha.